Ravishing Rick Rude has arrived. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 240 pounds, Ravishing Rick Rude. Appearances can be deceiving, but do not be fooled. Despite the Ravishing One's looks, this is a tough human being. I, for one, am just excited that Rude made it into the arena safely. There was a line of women outside four blocks long waiting to get their hands on the Ravishing One. He wouldn't even give me an autograph when I asked. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 245 pounds, El Perez. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. A focused challenger about to compete in perhaps the biggest match of his career. All right, I love this guy. And from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 231 pounds, Gentleman Chris Adams. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. He has poured blood, sweat, and tears into obtaining this title opportunity. Now, he needs to close the deal and become champion. Here comes the Macho King. The cream of the crop has arrived. And from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage! Already such a story career for Savage, a world champion, multiple WrestleMania main events. But now he is our devoted ruler, and it is good to be the Macho King. The Macho King about to put on a show for all his subjects in the WWE Universe. And these peasants don't deserve it. Here he comes, adrenaline-fueled Hall of Famer. And from parts unknown, weighing in. 275 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Ready?
ready to take off and dripping with energy. I have it on good authority that Warrior actually sweats rocket fuel. Well, like I said, raw, unbridled energy. The energy in this arena is palpable. These competitors know exactly what's on the line. The referee calls for the bell, and we now wait for the first fall in this two out of three falls match. Look at the gun. What's next? All the way out. Crucifix. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. a malicious string of attacks right now. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. Oh, a sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the wind out of you. Oh, could this be it? And we have Macho King. The ultimate warriors run right into trouble. A rare situation to see warriors slow down. There's some power behind. Rick has an opening. Rousing Rick Rude with the Rude Awakening. The title might change hands. Axe handle. Shows a 
but this is still anybody's match at this point. Caught with a punch. That one did the job to bust Warrior wide open. He's got him scouted. Oh, it's a squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Savage caught him from behind. Into the tournament. The title's in jeopardy here. I right, think the paradigm is shifted. Going to pay dearly for it. 
And that was a well-executed attack. And that definitely made some impact. Oh, let down. Oh, Cal, we got a cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep Rick Rude. There's a rude awakening. The champ's eyes look. He thinks he has it. Disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor could lose easy here. That was the best weapon in the arsenal. But it wasn't enough to. He wants it one more time. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. A championship level move. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Set up in the corner of the ring. There's a line to the back of the neck. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. And Rick adds to the damage he's already handed out. Rick has to be close to ending this thing once and for all. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Oh, kicks right to the midsection. Opponent dropped in the corner. Unloading. Kick to the gut. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Look out! Look to the gut. Anything can happen in WWE, and this audience is seeing that firsthand. The entire WWE universe is going to have to pick their jaws off the floor after this one's done. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Across the top rope. Climbing forward. Taking it outside the ring now. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Face Buster plants him. for this next stretch. Uh-oh, watch out! Ah, oh, they rush in leg sweep. Times two. No! Ah, oh, straight to the floor! My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Caving in the abdomen. Put into place.
slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Desperate use of the head. Trying to fight his way out of the bear hug from behind. German suplex. Nine. We can have a new champion. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Then we see Rude. And look at from the back suplex. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. Pile drive! You gotta be kidding me! Looking for a suplex, gets blocked, and gets suplexed instead! for a quick from behind. Suplex release. The title might change hands. He still has some fight him as he picks up the score. There's some gouging going on. That's unnecessary. What a forward shoot. Dominating shoulder tackle. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. That's absolute power with a vertical suplex. Oh, shit breaker. Big clothesline. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. This is it. And he kicks out of the pit. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed. So the title might change hands. Cover. Digging deep for a kick out. And you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Savage is still bringing the fight. Macho King has done a great job to stay alive, but he has to think about ending matters quickly. And he's taking this to the outside now. Catching an elbow to the side of the face. human being we have to scrape off the floor. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Here's the snapmare, followed by a knee drop. A fracture over the Hoist it up, bang, snap suplex. Dropping the knee. And he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. He gets out of the way. He's gonna go up. 
What's next? All the way up. Crucifix. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. With the championship on the line. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner and the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, El Perez. What a championship win for him. He had the championship mindset going into this match, and now he has the hardware to go along with it.